Welcome to Windows 10 Upgrade or Clean Install Tips, Tricks, and Secrets that you guys may want to do right away when you first install Windows 10. Just to clean up things, right click taskbar, go Katana, hide icon, task, uh, unclick task view, uh, install something called Start 10 or another Start menu because it makes getting around easier. What you want to do is right click this computer, go Properties. Go advanced system settings, go hardware, device installation, never let me choose, and never install and uncheck automatic, get the device apps provided in its manufacturer. This so it keeps you from getting automatic driver updates. Um, second part would be, the, um, not default device printers, um, I meant to click the one above it default programs custom default program Internet Explorer default email Windows Live download something download something called uh, Windows Live Essentials to get these Go OK. Go in to set your default programs. This part's very important. Uh, in an Explorer, it set as default, so you don't have to use shitty Edge. And yeah, I said that. Edge is crap. Uh, Windows Media Player, set this as your default for music and uh, movies. That way you don't have to use a... Windows Media Player, which is also crap. Windows Photo Gallery, set as default. So you can use the um, Photo Viewer for that instead of using the crappy Metro version. Set Skype for desktops. Set that for default. And that should clear up most of that. Um, go Control Panel, all items at the top, go program and features turn on Windows features this is important make sure to have these two installed 2.0 3.0 and 4.6 uh, make sure Internet Explorer 11 is installed so you can actually set that as a default web browser instead of using Edge because Edge is crap again And uh, that's, that will clean up Windows 10 a little bit for you. There's other s small tricks and tips you can use. Oh, grab something called, I won't click on it because if I do, I'll show you my CD key. Grab something called Key Finder. It's also known as Jelly Bean Magic Key Finder. And when you run this application, it will tell you your Windows 10 installation key. Save it to a text file. That way, if you ever need to w reinstall Windows 10, clean or something, you will have your CD key. So definitely grab that. So down at the bottom here, I got Explorer, uh, Task Manager, Remote Desktop Services, uh, Windows Live Mail, and an Explorer. See Monkey is my second browser, uh, uh, Skype, Windows Media Player, classic there. Photo gallery here. So, uh, that's what I, that's what my tips, my tips for getting Windows 10 back up to speed is, is, uh, remove a lot of things. That's also with the modern apps here. Uh, these are the only, some, some of the modern, only some of the modern apps you can, you should have because the rest of them, like maps and edge and movies and TV, you can't actually uninstall, but like music and stuff, you can, so. I would uninstall all the useless apps if possible. If you upgraded your system with Media Center Edition installed, you will be greeted with Windows DVD Player. It's a free app that comes through the Windows Update. If you were a Media Center Edition user for 
Windows 7 or Windows 8. So that's your free app there. It comes through Windows Update. Oh, another app I'm going to quickly show you, Go Settings. This isn't installed by default, so I'll show you where to get it. Go System, App Features, Manage Additional. It's called the Windows Insider Hub. I've already installed it, but to get it, you have to click on Add More Features. Wait for the list to load. And, and scroll down to the eyes. I won't have it in here because I already got it installed. But scroll down to the eyes, click on it, and just go install. And the reason why you want this app is... For this reason, it gives you the, uh, you can do, learn more about Windows 10 by actually completing quests, reading about it, um, news, notifications, and the main reason why you want this app for bragging rights, because, you know, operating turned into video game, is your achievements. Why not? Get achievements in Windows 10, you, just because you can. I'm only missing two right now. So all of this app also works in conjunction with, uh, or side by side with, uh, the feedback app. Wherever that is, I don't see it in here. Where is it? It's somewhere. I'll just. It's right here for me. It works in conjunction with the feedback app. So your insider sub and your feedback app go back and forth between each other. So, that's my tips, tricks to get this Windows 10 up and running with cleaning up and making it look back to Windows 7 or 8 or something that's clean looking without all the uh, useless stuff. Thanks for watching.